good morning to one and all today's topic is about distal muscular dystrophy what do you mean by distal dystrophy distal dystrophy in short is called as dd is a class of muscular dystrophies that primarily affects the distal muscles what do you mean by distal muscles the distal muscles are those muscles that are present in the lower arms hands lower legs and feet muscular dystrophies are a group of genetic disorders they are degenerative in nature and it primarily affects the voluntary muscles of our body distal muscular dystrophy is also called as distal myopathies because it causes inflammation in the muscle cells what are the prevalence rate of dd it affects 10 in 1 lakh individuals worldwide and who are all the people that are getting affected mostly children or adults and it is a slow progressive disorder it does not affect the intellectual property of the brain and hence it is not considered as life threatening what is the inheritance patterns of dd dd is an inherited disorder that means it is passed down from one generation to the next generation it can be either autosomal recessive or it can be autosomal dominant what do you mean by autosomal dominant when only one parent has an abnormal gene what do you mean by autosomal recessive when both the parents have an abnormal gene it is termed as autosomal recessive disorder both the genders are affected equally in this disorder what is the primary cause of distal muscular dystrophy because it is an inherited disorder meaning the mutations that are seen in the genes that are helpful in the production of the proteins of the muscle cells causes the distal muscular dystrophy when a gene is mutated it either makes a defective protein or none at all so most commonly if a protein is defective in nature or if a protein is missing these prevent the muscle cells from working properly leading to the signs and symptoms of muscular dystrophy namely muscle weakness over the course of time then what are the signs and symptoms of muscular dystrophy it is primarily the weakening in the muscles very specifically the distal muscles further the weakness is progressive in nature and it affects the voluntary distal muscles and muscle wasting can also be seen mobility of the muscles are widely affected how to diagnose this muscular dystrophy there are four different mechanisms involved to diagnose the muscular dystrophy one technique is nerve conduction studies and electromyography in short it is called as emg this test uses the electricity that are sent through the needles when the needles are inserted into the muscles of the patient and the electrical impulse is measured that are produced in the muscles as well as in the neurons moving on to the next technique that is the creatine kinase test creatine kinase is a enzyme that are present in the muscle cells when the muscles are damaged due to the weakness in the muscles in muscular dystrophy the creatine kinase are found abnormal in the blood and hence the measuring this creatine kinase will be an indicative test of muscular dystrophy moving on to the muscle biopsy test this test is done based on the results of the creatine kinase test this test involves taking a small piece of muscle and examining it in the lab after examining if the abnormal proteins are present and the levels of abnormal proteins by means of the fluorescent techniques will tell us the severity of the muscular dystrophy moving on to the last technique that is genetic testing because it is an inherited disorder the genes that are affected in the muscular dystrophy can be studied using a blood sample moving on to the treatment procedures that are employed in the distal distal dystrophy so there are most commonly three different type of therapies or involved in treating the dd the first one is physical therapy followed by occupational therapy followed by mobility devices or braces implantation if a person is having problems during swallowing or if he is choking then assistance is required in order to prevent the aspiration or 
choking problem. If the heart is affected, then he should be monitored. These are the references that are used in the study. Thank you one and all.